Hey guys, you know what's worse than me drawing? Me drawing blindfolded. That's right, I came up with a stupid idea where I'm gonna try to draw masterpieces in Microsoft Paint. This is Microsoft Paint. It's an app by Microsoft. <laughs> and I'm gonna ask good old chat GPT what I should draw. It's gonna go terribly. So let's get down to business, shall we? Hey, chat GPT, what are some basic drawings I should try? to draw. Hello, if you're looking to practice your drawing skills, here are some basic drawings you can try. Basic shit, dude, no, give me like, I need specifics. What specific things should I draw? A cup of coffee, here we go. You gotta be, you gotta be specific in chat GPT. First one, cup of coffee, easy. So easy, all right. These are pantyhose. Okay, can't see anything. Oh boy. Okay, I just need to know where my, where I start, my mouse. Okay, my mouse, wow, I can't, s you can't even see the mouse. There we go. Okay, cup of coffee coming up. All right, so this is gonna be the top of the coffee. And then we're gonna go down here. And this is the mug part. And the mug needs a handle. And steam needs to be coming out of the coffee. Okay, I think I drew a cup of coffee. Oh no, oh no. Uh, that's not good. You can see what I was trying to do though. I feel like if you could move all of these pieces together, that would be quite the steaming cup of joe. But I'll admit it wasn't the best. Honest okay, honestly, it was better than I thought. It was way better than what I thought it would end up being. You know what, after every drawing, I want you guys to rate in the comments of what you think the drawing is out of 10. I would personally give that a solid seven. A tree in different seasons. That was very specific. How about a tree? How about I just draw a tree? You know? Okay, this should be easier than a cup of coffee, I think. I hope. All right, we're gonna start at the uh, the top of the tree, which is the, the leaves, the leafy part. Okay, so that should be the leaves. And then we're gonna go down, and this is the trunk, maybe a, a couple roots, a couple roots, and then back up toward, oh no, this is, I can already tell this is not gonna be good because I forgot the distance that I went down. So I'm just guessing the distance I went up. Okay, so there's the trunk. I just moved the mouse around. Why did I do that? Uh, okay, it's trunk time. This is a trunk. That's a trunk if I've ever not seen one. And then the trunk needs some leaves. There you go, dude. Okay, let's let's look at our masterpiece. That's a good tree. That's a really good tree. I can't see. I had the blindfold too tight. Dude, I'm impressed. What is this though? What's this middle leaf part? I don't remember drawing. Oh, was that supposed to be the leaves on the trunk? Honestly, if you gave a toddler this drawing, they would guess what it is. I think maybe. Not bad. I'm I'm impressed. That was significantly better than the cup of coffee. I would rate that a solid nine point. Four. By the way, are you guys subscribed yet? If you're not subscribed yet, you should hit the, the button. Your favorite book cover? <laughs> you think I read books? I don't, I don't read books. Um, You know what's sad? I can't think of a book. I'm skipping it, okay? I'm skipping it. Also, that wouldn't be fun. That wouldn't be entertaining to, to look at a book cover. Psh. All right, uh, a close up of an eye. I'm glad it said a close up because a far away eye would be, that'd be hard. All right, close up of an eye, let's do it. Now, the question is how detailed do I wanna be here? I'm basically drawing a football, I think. All right, so that's the edge of the eye. If I follow where I think I just drew the eye, that should be, oh no, I accidentally right clicked. What did that do? Hopefully that didn't do anything. Okay, now we're drawing the pupil. Maybe some eyelashes up top. And then eyelashes at the bottom. That should be a pretty detailed close up of an eye. That's such a good eye. Wow. Where did the other half of the pupil or the, the what's it called? The esophagus? I don't know where that went. That must've been when I right clicked and it just like didn't work. That is very good and I'm happy with myself. Very detailed, perfect shape if I say so myself, but it's a little worse than the tree. So I'm gonna give that an 8.89. That's a Good eyeball, dude. That is a good eyeball. Honestly, I am like super impressed with myself this episode. I would just like to thank my mom for the drawing talent. What am I saying? A dreamy cloudscape. Okay, so this is gonna be hard because this is like basically gonna be, it's gonna be utilizing the entire canvas, but I can do it, easy. I wish I could change colors blindfolded. So this one's gonna be a lot like the trees, you know? Here's one cloud. This should be another cloud. 
Let's do a middle cloud. And then I think I want to have a, a grassland across the bottom. Was that a grassland? Hope so. I have no idea where my mouse is, dude. I have no idea. Let's draw some small mountains in the back. Like that. Maybe a ray of sunshine in the middle of the grassland with some sunlight rays. All right, there's my, that's it. So my mouse was not where I thought it was. I thought my mouse was over here and it turns out it was over here. Where's the second mount? Oh, there's, that's the first mountain. That's the second mountain. The sun is pretty good. The clouds are not bad. That's not a mountain. I'm gonna go ahead and say that that is not a mountain. It looks like an M though and mountain starts with M. <laughs> okay, that, that went great. That was a 6.9. Nice. Yeah, I don't know about that one. Leave a comment below if you would hang that up in your bedroom. Next up, your pet or favorite animal. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna draw a dog, okay? Now, the question is, should I draw the head of a dog or should I draw a full body of a dog? I'll draw a full body. This is gonna be, so, this is gonna be awesome. I'm gonna utilize a lot of the canvas here. So, there's an ear and then it goes around. I've drawn some dogs in my day right there and then this should be where the nose is so the nose is right there down here should be a tongue is that a good tongue now i think the body starts around here okay there's a tail goes around leg time perfect maybe you know in my mind this looks amazing this looks so good in my mind okay there's the belly down leg leg up and then around connects to the head and that is a <laughs> that's a dog wow when did that happen oh no why when i don't know how that happened oh i see what i did so this was supposed to be the head i thought i was drawing the body right here and i drew the body on the head Ooh, not good, not good. That is a deformed dog. Okay, uh, this is what I was trying to, well, first off, let's rate this. This is a two. All right, that was the rating. Um, I'll show you what I was trying to do. Okay, let's undo some of this. That is a good hat. Wow, okay, real quick, I want to point out, I'm actually really impressed with this. The nose is perfectly on the line. I don't know how I did that. And the tongue is perfectly on the line. Should have connected it right here. Uh, this is what I was going for, okay? That's the tail, and then that's a leg going up. Okay, I'm not that much better not blindfolded. That's a leg, that's a leg, and then that's what I was going for. I should have just drawn the head. I should have just drawn the a, a head of a dog. That is a 10, dude. That is so good, but doesn't count. Wasn't blindfolded. A vintage camera, Pfft, easy. So just a camera? I don't think I would be able to draw the difference between a camera and a vintage camera. Can I tell you? I would be the worst sailor of all time. All right, uh, so rectangle. That is the shape of cameras. Then lens in the middle. Sorry, we need to have like a flash. Wait, that's not a vintage. Did vintage cameras have, whatever. This is a camera, all right? And then uh, there's the flash. I think I did it. I think that's, that's a good camera, dude. That's a really good camera. The rectangle didn't connect, but the, who cares? Not me. Do you? Um, yeah, that's a, that's a camera. That's a vintage one. And that is a 9.3, 9.3, pretty good. Give me more of a challenge, dude. I could draw the Mona Lisa blindfolded. A fantasy map? Dude, this is, my, this is for my friend JP, who actually draws fantasy maps. I don't even know how to draw a map. Okay, so first things first, we need, the map is a rectangle, just like the camera. Had a good warm up on this. There it is. Okay, now we're gonna make a path. And the path goes like that. And then at the end of the path, X marks the spot. I'm just drawing a pirate map. I just realized this. All right, now we need some basic trees. These are trees. And then maybe over here, there's a river or a lake, you know, and there's wa that's water. Is that it? Did I draw a fantasy map? Huh, that is something. The trees are nice. That's what I got to say about that. Uh, that was not good, but it's a bit better than the dog, if I do say so. I was trying to draw this leading to the X. That just looks like a squiggle in a random X over there. You know, it should have been like, 
like that. That's what I was going for. That that would have been good. That would have bumped it up to a ten, honestly. But no, I'll give this. Uh, I'll give this a a four point one. I think that's pretty fair. What do you guys think? Oh my gosh, this is going to be the hardest thing in the world. A vintage bicycle, aka a bicycle. Do you know how hard it is to draw a bicycle? I don't know how to draw one. Do you? Oh my gosh. Okay. Buckle up. Okay. Um, we got two circles. Circle one, circle two. Those circles are known as wheels. Okay, now we gotta connect it. Um, how do bicycles look? So it goes like that. That's a triangle. And then right here should be the handlebars. There's one handlebar. There's two handlebars. And then in the middle, there's a seat. That's a bicycle. That's a, bi that has to be a bicycle, dude. That ha That is a good bicycle. Oh my gosh. Somebody call an artist and tell them a new guy's in town. That is a good bicycle and I'm happy and proud. 10, nothing wrong with it. So realistic. Looks like it was made in Unreal Engine 5. All right guys, that was me <laughs> not even attempting, doing good drawings blindfolded. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you wanna see me do this more, leave a comment below, dude, okay? If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, click the notification bell. I have a gaming channel in the description and a store at samtaperstore.com. Here's SpongeBob. Goodbye. Sorry, he's not, not very realistic. That's SpongeBob. You're welcome.